Kia ora everybody, my name is Ros McCacken. Um, I'm in Auckland in New Zealand. Um, I originally come from Bristol in the UK where I grew up and trained to be a teacher and then um, I've been living in New Zealand for 11 years now, um, teaching in the Bay of Islands for nine years and now Auckland for two um, at the new Hobsonville Point Secondary School. I'm an English teacher um, and I'm also a leader of learning here at Hobsonville Point and today I'm going to talk a little bit about our critical friendship program which is part of our professional learning. Thanks for having me, it's my first one too. <laughs> what are critical friendships? The goal of any professional learning community is to identify strategies that best engage our learners and enable them to achieve and a vital part of our role is to evolve our own better practice. Giving and receiving feedback plays an essential part in our own learning. However, Rather than what can often feel like having an observation being done to us when observed by an appraiser, peer observation allows us to decide on the timing of and focus for an observation ourselves in response to what we and our learners need. We all have frustrations and question how effective our teaching is for our learners. Usually though, these thoughts stay locked privately in our own heads. Wouldn't it be valuable to be able to ask a trusted colleague to help you on a regular basis? to listen to your frustrations, to answer your questions, to share your celebrations and to support you to problem solve. The term critical friends group was coined in the US in the early 1990s but most readings describe critical friends as a larger community or as a one-sided relationship, more like a mentor. At Hobsonville Point we believe in powerful partnerships, personalised learning and deep challenge and inquiry as our key principles and therefore wanted to establish true critical friendships across the whole staff. We believe these must be reciprocal and include a strong sense of mutual trust, support and honest critique. So how did we go about developing critical friendships in our school? I was given the, the task of organising teachers into pairs, so I did some online matchmaking. All teachers were included, as well as our senior leaders and principal. Our critical friendships are crucially independent of length of service or hierarchical status. Teachers were asked to identify what they could offer and what they wanted in their critical friend, about strengths and areas for development. Once pairs were matched, they were encouraged to connect and to seek, send feedback. And this established the friendship and emphasised the importance of celebrating small successes, noticing what often goes unnoticed, or at least unnoted. But what about the critical? Why is it so difficult for a teacher to sit in someone else's class and observe and then give constructive feedback and critique? Maybe the problem isn't the closed classroom doors, but a closed fixed mindset. We worked hard to co-design our observation tool so that every teacher felt ownership of the tool and was happy to use it and have it used on them. The focus and context of the termly observation is discussed in a pre-observation meeting. And in our weekly professional learning sessions, critical friends support each other with their teaching as inquiry project and encourage each other to think more deeply about their goals, to reflect and to discuss situations as they arise. An important part of embedding critical friendships has been to ask for feedback to refine what we do and how we run the programme. This feedback is shared with staff at the start of the year with a reminder of how critical friendships fit into our school vision. This year, teachers revisited and redefined the meaning of critical friendship based on our experiences. Critical friendships have become a vital aspect of our culture of critique at Hobsonville Point and display to our students that we really believe in UCL, that we see ourselves as learners. Our critical friendships have been an awesome opportunity for powerful learning without any, powerful dif without any power differential. And in her series of research papers about our school, Nolene Wright from Waikato University acknowledges the value of our critical friendships and of a clear shared vision. So I wanted to finish by just sort of asking you to think about um, how you could easily adopt aspects of critical friendships at your own school, even if it isn't part of the wider vision. Um, and my blog post um, that I've just published uh, describes that in much more depth, both in much more detail, um, which describes the process and my thoughts as well. And there are some links there.